Welcome back, guys. We're now at the two-month update of our 23-way spray coatings longevity test. Things are warming up. You can see that the summer temps are definitely upon us, even though we still have a couple more weeks to go until actual summer. 158 degrees or 70 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what you need to fry an egg. So you can fry an egg on this hood right now. I will leave the current temperature conditions on the top of your screen. You can see that it is currently very warm out. And of course, the last 30 days weather, as well as the lifetime weather that we've seen here so far for this hood. So remember, this hood gets rotated 90 or 180 degrees after each wash, and it does sit outside in the elements 24 hours a day, seven days a week here in East Texas. Now, we're gonna foam this hood down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam. Rinse it, foam it again, wash it, and then of course, rinse it off to inspect the hydrophobic properties before we dry everything off. If you do have a minute, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know in the comments if you've used any of these products or if you're rooting for any. If you would like to purchase any of them, please consider using the links in the video description as it does help the channel out. 100% of the money goes right back into buying more products to test. I don't take any kind of profit or anything. These videos are for you to find out the best without any outside influence or any sponsorship. That is by design and on purpose. So with that out of the way, let's jump into it, see how things are looking. Starting things off, Sonax Ceramic Spray. It's been a very strong performer so far. Grios 3-in-1, also pretty decent. Showing a little bit of signs of wear there. New finish graphene, very hydrophobic. Adams Advanced Spray, not looking so great. Wolfgang Uber, sort of in the same boat. Yeah, that's pretty disappointing for 60 days. Wolfgang Uber, not looking great. White Diamond Graphene, about like Wolfgang Uber. Not, not looking too hot. McKee's Hydro Graphene, it's got a little bit of wear on it, but it's doing all right. Rain-X Graphene, again, not, not looking great. 60 days. 303 Graphene, we have tested that multiple times several different batches and 30 to anywhere up to six months it just really depends on the batch but it's not looking great black rhino boost we called that failed at the one week mark but it has a little bit that's kind of hanging in there so we may we may amend that we'll see avalon king boost Many of you have said that they have an updated version of that since then. This is the original version that came out. I bought it right when it came out. Flit Ceramic looks okay. It's sort of weak too, as is Just Car Ceramic Spray Wax. McKee's 365, also not looking great. You know, the heat and two months, short-lived. The benefit, these are very easy to use products for the most part. Soft 99 Trees from Japan, I believe that is rated for three months and it's still looking great. TAC System Quartz Max looks very hydrophobic. 3D Ceramic Touch, not looking so hot. Yeah, there's a lot of changes this month. G Technic Marine, that is rated as a six month product. Really intended for a gel coat, but you guys wanted it, so here it is. And Gion Evo Can Coat, we've tested that once before and it looks outstanding, very hydrophobic. Glosset Ceramic Detail Spray, here we are at the 60 day mark. Typically in times past of testing that, 60 to 90 days is what to expect out of that. So we have a lot of changes this month, but no failures. Have you guys used any of these? Do you find them easy to use? That is kind of the selling point for a lot of these. So let me know in the comments and be sure you check out the links in the video description. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you soon.